nightclub owner and he's living a double life, both as James St. Patrick, the nightclub owner, and Ghost, the high-end drug dealer. Uh, you want to talk about Tommy? Um, Tommy's character is, is, is exciting. He's, he overcompensates because of his actual experience growing up with Ghost and, and people questioning whether he is uh, as effective or aggressive as the other people around because they think there's a look connected to being a, a part of that lifestyle and because he doesn't he's white so that he's not as aggressive as he, he wears it on his sleeve and he's actually more aggressive than he is because of it um tasha is ghost's wife uh i'll let you talk about tasha because <laughs> she's partially your queen she's been down forever right and and with the tradition because of ghost's ability to be a, a businessman that savvy that's connected that there and a non-traditional route of him creating the crew that doesn't have that aggressive orator he uh, offers more information to her he wants to make her almost a partner in his life in the early stages and he, he turns her into uh, his actual soundboard mm-hmm. and then last I mean Angela Angela Valdez is um Ghost's one that got away. She's his true love, or a true love for him. And she is, uh, I'm not going to give away because you haven't seen the first episode yet necessarily, but she is a career woman who has been about her career and has not been distracted by the idea of romantic love until she runs back into her high school boyfriend. And then, oh boy, it's all she wrote. And then I think the last person is Kanan. And Kanan is old-fashioned. He actually... There's an old friend of the ghost who showed him the ropes in the 